Please. Grant says his mother talks too much. She told everyone around the table the other day that his strategy was to be aggressive, and he says his mom gives off more tells than he does. <laughs> All right, now she's getting a picture of Phil Helmuth. Phil always finds the camera. Man, shouldn't he be on a bad beat lecture tour? <laughs> <laughs> she likes the picture of Phil Helmuth. She's the best. <laughs> Phil, always obliging. All right, back to action. Four players left. Grant Hinkle, the chip leader on the Milwaukee's Best Light Pocket Cam. 10-9 off suit. He canceled four flights home as he keeps lasting longer in this tournament, and his mother got the last seat on a flight to get here and watch him yesterday. He's going to raise it to 250000 Theo Tran now can focus on his poker with Mike No gone. He's got Ace King. Come on. And Theo is going to push. $1.4 million and a little change. Chris Ferguson, pocket eights. Jesus won five bracelets between 2000 and 2003. He's now gone five years without winning a bracelet. And Chris Ferguson moving all in with the pocket eights. Hinkle folds, and Chris's girlfriend, Fabiola, looking very nervous. I might have you dominated. You, you might. You have ace-queen? I have a pair. Oh, you have a pair? Uh, so a race for all of trans chips. And quite a contrast in table demeanor here. Theo will pace around. Jesus will barely breathe. Let's get over with. Queen Jack 10 on the flop. Queen Jack 10, that's all. That's all I want. <laughs> oh, he got the Jack 10. <laughs> all right. Gets two thirds right. of it. Pretty good request. Ferguson still ahead. What? Backdoor club? I got the club. All right. I got the club. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> I'm not allowed to touch them. They're my cards, though. <laughs> Theo's like the kid who's told not to play with the light switch, and then he plays with the light switch. <laughs> and Jesus is Jesus. Ferguson ahead right now with the eights. Oh, not anymore. Tran pairs his king. One out. One out. Yeah, Theo picking up that club flush draw. So now only the eight of hearts will knock out Theo Tran. And now the river card is a six, and Theo Tran will win the hand and double up. Theo Tran feeling it. First he saw Mike no go, and now he gets to pick up some chips. Chris Ferguson severely crippled under 300,000, and Fabiola might be preparing for an exit. Theo Tran now up over 3 million. All right, now I'm like all energized now. I'm awake. If you're awake, Theo, take off the hooded sweatshirt and stay a while. <laughs> Chris Ferguson back to familiar territory, short stacked with a lot of work to do. How many chips you got? I don't know. I just doubled up. I had 1.5. I doubled up. Yeah, 3.4. Theo talking with one of his many bracelet winning friends, David Williams. And on the chip count, Theo in second place. Grant Hinkle in control. Chris Ferguson is the short stack. So four players left. Grant Hinkle with ace four, a weak ace at a short table is pretty strong. Hinkle's another money maker effect product. He started playing a lot of poker after Chris Moneymaker's 03 win. Makes it 250,000 to play. It's the second time he's raised two and a half times the big blind. I think it's a Kansas City thing. Theo Tran, wow, with a big ace. A raise in front of him. Good call. And he makes the call from the small blind. Chris Ferguson now. Usually when he takes off his glasses, that means his action is done. Yeah, and he does fold. So Tran and Hinkle heads up. Tran has Hinkle dominated. Here's the flop. It is ace four. King and ace is up for Hinkle. What a flop. And a dangerous flop for Theo Tran because he's got a pair of aces with the big kicker. And he will check. Now to Hinkle. Tran maybe. Thinking that he's trapping Hinkle with that big ace. Hinkle bets 350. I don't trust a 350,000 chip bet from a man who wears a watch. Just another day at the office, eh, Blair? <laughs> it's not an office, it's a casino. Is she drunk? All right. <laughs> Tran needs 350 to call. I think I might be thinking all in here. You know he wants to say, Heidi ho. <laughs> well, he's better not to go all in because he's behind, but I would have gone all in. There's the call. So Tran and Hinkle to the turn now. Turn card is an ace, and Hinkle has turned a full house. 
Full boat for Hankel wow. and three aces for Theo Tran, who's first to act. Second best with trip aces. And Tran checks again. again I thought Theo might have pushed right there, Lon. I mean, it's hard to put your opponent on the last ace in the deck. Theo's got to believe he's good. Hankel now. 700. We'll make it 700,000 in the driver's seat. Seven. Theo's not going anywhere. The question is, does he want to check raise here? Which would be fatal. It would. Just Theo a call here. Theo will save some ammunition for the river, perhaps. Theo doesn't know it, but he's looking for help on the river. Yeah. Now the river card is an eight. Theo does not get the help. Hinkle with the check mark, holding that full house. Tran again, first to act, of course, reaching for chips, but now just checks. Well, he has checked each step of the way to Hinkle. On. Now you on. talk about Heidi Ho. I really don't believe you. I, I don't believe him either, Theo, and I can see his cards. <laughs> <laughs> Tough moment for the Hinkles to watch. Oh, Jesus is happy about this. Jesus sitting pretty on the sideline at the moment. Big moment for Theo Tran. If he calls, he's done. I call. And he does call and shows his trip aces. And call. now sees Hinkles winning full boat. Wow. Tran is gone. Can I, can I fold there? Theo goes thud very quietly. He never could get away from the hand. And now Grant Hinkles got a lot of chips. He is indeed the overwhelming chip leader. Everything seemed to be going so well for Theo Tran, and he goes out with a whimper in fourth place, winning over $327,000. He outlasted Mike No, but he couldn't outlast the rest of this final table. Blair Hinkle's the pro of the family, but older brother Grant's doing pretty well. It's just a hunch, but I think she's texting Donald Trump. <laughs> Theo Tran was on a roll. He was up to $3 million, but it all came crashing down in one big improbable hand. The 2008 World Series of Poker, Player of the Year. Mike Matasso and Daniel Negrano were two of the best talkers in the game. You know he plays like a donkey. <laughs> I did it again. Yes. They are also two of the best players, and this year, Mattiso outplayed and outtalked. I beat Tom Snyder, boys and girls. Watch out. A final table that included some of the game's greats to capture his third bracelet. Yeah. The victory tied him with his friend, Negranu, until the very next day, that is, when Daniel won his fourth. It's so difficult to even get to the final table, so to win is just an amazing feeling. Maybe that will keep the mouth quiet. I play circles around you idiots. Uh, or maybe not. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at our Player of the Year leaderboard. That win has Negrano in second place. Nanad Medic won his first bracelet this year. 13 other players tied with Nanad with 100 points. I've been talking up Fu Wong all year. Nobody listens. <laughs> right now with three players left, Grant Hinkle is our chip leader with over three quarters of the chips in play. James Aiken had in second place 2.2 million. He was the chip leader when we started this final table and Chris Ferguson is the short stack. I still believe one day he will be the all-time leader in World Series caches. Speaking of cash, over 831,000 going to one of our final three players, Aikenhead and Hinkle, each looking for their first World Series bracelet. I'm going to let these guys fight it out. I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> Chris wants to sit on the sidelines and let the other two battle it out, but Chris is first to act. He looks down at King Queen off. This is the 18th time Chris has finished in the top five at the World Series of Poker. And he's all moving in. all in with the King-Queen. 